Hey ho! Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Manscaped. Summer is here. Get ready for the beach with Manscaped. You got to trim those bushes, trim the hedges, let your tree grow a little, if you know what I mean. It looks bigger if the uh, leaves are trimmed. Huge cock. They just released the fourth generation performance package featuring the new and improved Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. I could give a bunch of marketing mumbo jumbo about their skin safe technology, but the bottom line is this will not nick your sack. That's really what it comes down to. It's got a freaking light on the thing, like a coal miner. I use it. I keep one in my bag. It's quick. It's easy. The battery lasts forever. This is high tech, good trimming nut sack hair stuff here, folks. With the lawnmower, you can adjust the length of your trim from one to four if you're old school. They even made a light. I mentioned that. A travel lock. And it's waterproof. You drop that puppy in the tub, you're not going to kill yourself. When you get the performance package, you also get the weed whacker, ear nose, and hair trimmer. Blast those with a 9,000 RPM motor featuring the same skin-safe technology. It's true. You get in there with that ear thing, and you realize, oh, man, I'm like uh, like the old guy from Willy Wonka who couldn't get out of bed. And you're, you're gross. you got hairs coming out of every orifice. Get on it, folks. Get the Crop Preserver and the Crop Reviver. You get some ball wipes. Smell it good down there. Keep it fresh. Keep it sanitary. Keep it going. Get 20% off and free worldwide shipping by going to manscaped.com and use promo code TUESDAYS. That's 25% off and free worldwide shipping by going to manscaped.com, code TUESDAYS. Manscaped, always use the right tools for the job. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. (laughs) Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah. Yeah, this is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. Nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Hey! Wait, are we ready? Yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. Happy 4th of July. What, what's the date? We're, we're pre recording here. Is it 4th of July today or tomorrow? It's America's Independence or, or the Mexican Alamo? What is that? What are we celebrating there? Your Uncle Sam? Uh, Who is Uncle food? Sam? What is that? He's an old white guy with a star-spangled suit, and I think he takes your tax money and hates immigrants. I know, but like, what is the origin story? Did he is he did he get hit by lightning? What is that a real guy? Or they just created him for the posters to get people to sign up for a uh, bloodbath? That's a good point. I think he was like back when they didn't have superheroes. He was like Captain America almost. You know, he came in there with the white beard and he said, Get out of here, you brown weirdo, and kick people out or something. And he had the dandy lion hat or dandy, dandy Yankee lion. Doodle. Dandy. What? Ah. I knew dandy and then I said dandy and then lion came up. What is a Yankee Doodle? I don't know. A Yankee's someone from the Northeast. Yes. Or just the North. And a doodle is a type of chip. Um, a Yankee a cheese doodle. doodle. Dandy. And a dandy's a homosexual, I yes. believe. Yes. Yeah, a bit of a pansy. <laughs> Um, so that's how it, that's what it came to mean, of course. But I, I think in know. those old, you know, those old political drawings, it shows like, uh, hey, get out of here there, Asian guy, build that railroad. And it's Uncle Sam, you know, yelling at a stereotypically, uh, cliche Asian, like, oh. The, the triangle hat. Yes, yeah, the yes. slits. But yeah, I think it started, though, with World War One or Two, the I Want You, right? He was a recruiter. Oh. Recruiting. I think that's where it started, and then it just came to mean America in general. Yeah, that's the not The government. Bad. Yeah. But uncle if he's Sam. the uncle, who's the father? Is that George Washington, the father he's of our the country? Father. And then there's Uncle Tom, which uh, apparently is a problem in the black community. And what's Martha? Is she the mother? Martha. Washington. Ah. And then Stuart. Yeah, yeah. I don't know Martha. I don't think she is. I guess she is the mom, but nobody talks about her. Yeah, and then there's Martha's Vineyard named after Martha. Is that right? Washington, I, I believe. I never knew that. I believe so. Okay, well, then there's also Mother Earth. So m- the women get the Earth. And Father Time. Aha. Uh-huh. By the way, I feel like we should flop that. 
Women are the ones worried about time. They're like, hey, I'm actually, I'm, I'm 35. Trust me, my tits are fake or whatever. They're always trying to get back their youth. Well, I think Earth is a mother because it gives birth. The ah. grass is growing out like like a big bush over a cunt. I, right. I think it's a lot of the trees, the river. It's a lot of like a wet pussy. Uh, yeah, the, the swamp lands, the wetlands, the wet back. Yeah, you got something there. And women should be timed too because they run out of uh, ink and oil down well, you there. Got menopausal. That's right. That, yeah. The clock is ticking yeah that's true yeah women are dead they're time and earth is that all of them there's the mother ship mother ship there's a lot of mother like whenever they talk about the country it's always a woman yes well boost i know i'm free what's that proud to be an american she's a beauty yes american the beautiful cars uh boats it's always women jenny yes it's always a woman America's a, a woman. Earth is a woman. The car's a woman. They get off the boat first. Women and children first. I yes. Mean, you got it easier, lady. It's enough already complaining I about know. everything. Ladies night. We open the door for you. Yep. You get a, you live longer, for Christ's sake. You get lower insurance. You get a variety of shoes. I mean, look yeah. at this. I got, I got sneakers because I got a bad pair of tits. But, I mean, you got high heels, flip-flops, yeah. sandals, sneakers, the, the, boots. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you can wear pants, dress. See, they used to have nothing. And then I think we overcorrected and gave them everything. Plus, they can vote now, which uh, is nice. You got a smaller brain, so you have to worry about carrying a brain around. You got a nice little one in there. True. You get to have fun hair. You can go long, short, wacky, sideways, braids, pigtail, ponytail, rat tail. And I always said it, you in a, a relationship, you have an advantage because you can... You can Mix it up. You can have your tits. You can have, you can go cleavage. You can go dress. Ooh. You can go heel. You can go makeup. You can go different makeup, dark makeup, black face. You can go short hair, long hair. Like you said, the, the cornrows, the braids. Yeah. I got nothing. Look at this. I got this hair, yeah. and I, I can take my glasses off, I guess, but I can't see shit. That's I can wear shorts or pants. I got no options. No here. options. I mean, you could wear a bell bottom or a tutu or a top hat, I guess, but come on. We're living in a society. But here's the clinker. Do you... I wouldn't want all that option. I like going uh, easy breezy Japanese. Well, I don't want the option, but I'm saying it would be nice if while my wife is making dinner, I sneak into the bedroom uh, and then go, like, hey, I get her attention. Hey, little lady. And she turns and I got a pair of thigh high fishnets and a big bustier and some red <laughs> lipstick. And she goes, oh, my God, I got to put the dishes down and, and eat you out. Yes. Because that that's what be she nice. could do for me. She never does. But I'm saying... You got lingerie. You got options. You could just completely change your look and be a hot. Like you could put on a choker and heavy eye shadows and and shave your head. Yes, and we're still into it. Yeah, and, and you're on the beach wearing basically pantaloons and and brasiers and and uh, looking hot and spicy. And then the guy looks like uh, you know Uncle Joey over here. He's flabby. He's, he's nothing. You got you got options, and you're physically attractive. Plus, you can blow a guy. You can take it in the asshole. You can take it in the oh, pussy so hole. Can we. Oh, well, there you go. Well, we, they have three. We only got two. You can have my asshole or you can have my mouth, but they don't have anything to put in my mouth other than a pussy, but that's not like a good dick a to nip, the throat. But yeah, you got a, a nip, point there. I guess. And they, they are fucked in the gay world. I mean, I feel like a homo can go pound the buttocks and they can blow and they can 69, but a lady and a lady, first of all, heard scissoring is a myth. Myth. That's what I heard. What do you mean a myth? Yeah, it's a big myth. They don't do it, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. No one does the scissoring. It's a, it's something a bunch of straight dudes made up. But I've seen it on television. Wow, well, <laughs> I've seen a dragon on television but, or a drag queen. But either way, I've heard the scissoring is no dice and uh, no dick. I heard they, they cuddle, they eat each other out, there's a little finger action, and they watch uh, Bridget Jones' diary and cry. Well, and a strap-on. Ah! And a double-sided dildo. Yeah, I don't know how often that's getting... Uh, I, I know a few lesbos, and they uh, they say they fuck the first week, they get married, and they never touch each other. Interesting. Well, that's just typical marriage. That's the cliche sure. of marriage. Sure. I, I have to say, I'm, I'm quite sexually active in my marriage. Ten years today we've been together. But how... You're initiating... Oh, hey, congratulations. That's eh, whatever. But how you're initiating the pounding. How many times is Sarah going, hey, hey, toothless? What do you think there, small mouth? Well, almost never, but it's possible because I'm just beating her to the punch. Ah, well, it's hard to initiate when I've already been like, what, 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 how about we fuck? You want to fuck now? You want to fuck now? You want to fuck mean, Tuesday? I believe you're beating her, but I do think that uh, the ladies, if it's two gals, it's almost like bat the magnets where they're kind of like not... 
it takes a little effort to push them together. Right. They're not as sexually driven as us. I mean, I've said it before. I don't know any woman that pretends to shit at a party and jerks off. Yeah. I, I do that at every party. I do that at my niece's birthday. Sure. Or you go the wrong way just to follow a gal with a fat bustier or fat uh, rump. Oh, absolutely. We weren't even supposed to record today. I was following uh, a six-foot woman in a pair of shorts. There you go. You Ended up right here. You can't, you can't help it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a problem. Look at this. What? <laughs> Oh man, it looks like the a shot of this. Mark in the there, Shelby. There. there you go. Anyways, all right. I don't think they're gonna give a two shakes about the leg indentation, but hey, uh, it's fun. It's something. I don't know. Is it's this something. your comb or is this the cat comb? That's the cat comb. Cat combs. That's something, isn't that in New Paris. Orleans? Yeah, no, it's in Paris. Well, same thing, isn't it? French. Cat, cat. The cat's dead over here. Come on, you fat kook. He's a pillhead. He can't get through the day. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, yeah. Well, they say dogs, which that is not one. They take on the uh, personality of the owners. Ah. So I don't know if that happens with cats, but if so, you guys got to get up and at them out of the house. (laughs) This house is depressing, I guess, but it makes you wonder about Hitler's dog. Hmm. You know, did he slide in, you know, get a little musty little doggy stash and uh, hate uh, hate the heaves. That's a good point. That could be something. Well, That's Norm's got a whole thing on it. Oh, does he? Well, There's a lot like, about Hitler. It's, you got to really come with a fresh angle yeah, on Hitler these days. I mean, Hitler is a baby. We've heard a time machine. Go back and kill Hitler. I mean, I, I know three guys with that joke. Yeah, it's tough. But hey, Hitler, he's, uh, you know, I'm his biggest fan, but... Let me tell you about some stuff I've been cooking here. I can't wait. I'm excited. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. So, uh, boy, I've been all over the all over the God's green earth here. First of all, I did Levity Live, <sighs> upstate New York, baby, <sighs> West Nyack, Rockland County, mm-hmm. and uh, it's about 37 minutes outside of Queens, which is just a goddamn treat because this is a proper comedy club. I was talking to the guy. Why don't more guys go up there? What do you mean? You know, you could you could sell it out if you're like a Michael Che or a Dave oh. Attell. Like I would just pop up there. Like, hey, I'm doing. Do I want to be at Levity Live two nights? Sell it out. Go work on your act. Bring the notebook. That's a good question. I guess good question, Aguado. Thank you. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I think some of them they don't feel like it. I they know. Don't but want to? They'll fly to Phoenix or Denver or San Fran. Yeah, some of these markets are overlooked. They're yes. close by, and they think, hey, you can come to the city. I'm at City Winery. Why don't you take the ride down? You want me to ride up there? Right. I think that might be the attitude, but I'd love to work there, by the way. They never booked me. But Oh, really? I'll tell them that. Yeah. They're looking for guys. I mean, they're saying it's all women, so uh, they need a man. Oh, wow. Don't we all? <laughs> uh, so you went up there, a little yeah. Nyack action. Can I give you a little w- weird nugget? Yeah, I love nuggets. All right. Well, here's a chicken mick. At the end of the weekend, we all got our checks, which I can't find mine, but that's neither here nor anal. Oh, that sucks. I know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Do but you ever think about just depositing it right in front of them I, on the phone? I usually do it. Is that it rude on to the do? Rhino. What's well, the policy on that? I did Poughkeepsie, and they were like, give us a week. I know, there's plenty fun. of venues that say that. Yeah. I always want to just hand you the check. You might as well just scan it right there and then just shove it in your ass. You exactly. go, there you go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Put your money where your mouth is. So. I get the check. We get our check. We all open them in the car. It's fun. You go, ooh, what did we make? We got a host, a feature, headliner. Mm-hmm. I'm in the back. I got a nice little cut there. I throw it in the dumpster. Then Sean Murphy, killer feature, by the way. You got to look this guy up. I don't know if he's got anything on YouTube or offended, what do you call it, sex offender, registered. He. I don't know if he's got anything online, but uh, killer comic, great hang, great guy. Love love that kid. He's Buffalo, too, right? Buffalo cat. A lot of Buffalo. Great Buffalo. Yeah. Good people come out of the buff. Yeah, well, I think it's very humbling society up there. It's cold. It's blue collar. It's it's racist. It's it fun. sucks. Yeah, yeah. It's shit town. They got the hockey and the the bad football. The wings. Hockey wings. team stinks too. Ah, don't stinks bad. Me. All right. Well, <laughs> Dallas barbecue. No dinosaur barbecue. Dinosaur. Yes, dinosaur junior. I call it the good Syracuse. But either way, definitely better than Syracuse. Oh God. I mean. Qatar or whatever you call it, uh, Darfur is Chris better Kattin. than Syracuse. Oh, Darfur. Yeah, <laughs> not Dart 3. Uh, so we go up there, we get the checks, we're, we're driving home. Just those great rides with the comics, shit talking, shooting the, shooting the anal. And uh, Sean gets a standard feature check. Okay, you know, same old. And then the host opens his, 
It's more than the feature. Whoa, and he was like, old school. Well, he's like, well, what's uh, And he goes back, uh, this must be something wrong there. And the guy's like, no, no, we pay the host more because nobody wants to come here. Interesting. So because the, it's in this weird area and no one will go up there, they're like giving hosts more money. So they don't have a scene up there because now right. every fucking town has a scene. Mm. It's obscene. Mm. I mean, you go to, uh, I can't even name a city. Suck my tits, Iowa. Oh, big and they scene. Got 48 and suck guys my tits. over there. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And then I go to Silly Pubes, Michigan, and yeah. they got a scene there. Yeah, yeah. Good club at Silly Pubes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hairy, but yeah. <laughs> No, no, you're right. Everyone's going to see, but no Rockland because it's so close. If you live up there, you might as well get on a an, uh, bus and high, high tail it down to the Big Apple at least. Yeah, interesting. Well, that's uh, that's how it used to be is the MC got more money because they had to be. And if you think about it, they should get more money. Like in the city, the MC gets the most money. Right. Because you got to keep track. You got to time. Right. And then really, it should be a stronger comic as yes. an MC because they're going up dead cold. It's, it's a little fucked up how they do it because you have the weakest, shittiest piece of shit stink talentless comic True. emceeing he's the backbone of the show and so then the crowd goes this sucks like right out of the gate they're like well, this is awful what a bummer and then the yeah. feature comes up and kicks ass but you should have you know johnny pajama pants uh, kicking ass on the MC. yeah they, circuit. He got me too but yeah, that makes sense either way you're right and that's how they do it in canada in old Canada, they put the killer My as the host, home and which land. makes sense because the he's going up the most, so you're going to see him the most. True patriot love. Yes. I think that might have been okay. That wasn't bad. Every once in a while, I sing, and I'm like, am I good at singing? Yeah. It I'm, sounds like the guy at the game. You should try it. Maybe I will. I well, sang the National Anthem when I was a camp counselor. What? I did a talent show. I, mean, I wasn't asked to. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't hired. Oh. But I was a camp counselor. I, I got fired for a variety of reasons. Diddling. Uh, yeah, what can you do? Yeah, the kids are cute. But I, we had a, uh, it was completely improvised, impromptu, uh -huh. because what happened was I was a camp counselor for several years in my hometown, and then we had a talent show to end the camp. And I was like, I'll go out and get it started, like as an MC. And all the kids were nervous and shitting their pants and crying. Yeah. So I said, Well, I'll go out and I'll break the ice. Wow. And I went out and I sang the national anthem. And uh, I don't, I don't know what got into me. And I think I might have offended some people because I'm like Roseanne. I was spitting and grabbing my dick for the kids. Sure, sure. And then I finished, and it was like a smattering of applause. And I came back, and but I think I did the kid a favor because he didn't have to go first. Hey, you hosted. I got the best money. There you go. Wow. Do you know the whole lyrics? Well, I'm a big sports fan. I see. It's funny because sometimes I'll meet people that don't know the lyrics to the National Anthem, and I'm like, how do you not know the lyrics to the National Anthem? And I realize I only do because I watch sports. Yeah, you've seen it 8,000 times. Yeah, a million times, and, and, and oh, Canada, too. I'm surprised you don't go uh, hit the John or make a nacho during the, the uh, anthem. Well, I do now, but growing up, you did, and then it's in the background, so you just kind of get it in there uh, subconsciously. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't know what a rampart is. These ramparts are ablaze, and uh, look at all the gays, or whatever it is. No, me either. I heard an interesting anecdote about Ooh. the National Anthem, if you want to hear. Oh, uh, put it in my ass. Well, I guess everyone, people that sing it, professional singers... They get really nervous about the and the home because oh, it's a it's a it's a high note, right? Right. But then someone else came out, this psychologist or other singer said, "You've actually already hit the note earlier." Ah. Oh. In a different part of the song, I forget the exact parts, which would make it for a better anecdote. Sure. But they've already hit it earlier. But it's not this intimidating thing. It's a crescendo. So they don't realize. And it's like a metaphor for life. It is. You've already yeah. done the hard. Exactly. Yes. My Blue shorts chair. are a real problem. I'm sorry. A lot of thigh. I mean, it's insane. That's a rampart. But you were going to say something about Canada. Oh, the that's MC. how they host in Canada. They, 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 the killer goes up first, wows him and jows him? Sure. What is the wow? Is it a wow? And wow a? and... Hold on. Wow and pow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that went in my eye. Oh, sorry. That was weird. Thank God for the it, glasses. Like, sprayed. It was, a, it was a spray fart. I went to the beach the other day. I think I got some sand in there. <laughs> I think I felt a starfish. Which beach? Long. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pause was long. <laughs> sorry, I was pregnant. Menopause. So, yeah, uh, Levity Live, great weekend. Now, here's the clinker. Did I say that yet? 
No, I don't think so. So I'm doing this big shoot that I haven't uh, divulged. They won't let me divulge. Yeah. Don't touch my knee. <laughs> I was close. It's like the scene in Mission Impossible where he falls from the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah that yeah. was big. That was big. So uh, <laughs> remember the the, uh, the drop? Oh, and he right, catches right, his right. hand. Right. That was pretty fun. That first Mission oh, Impossible. Oh man, was I saw that in the theater? That was uh, that was uh, that was lunch. It was a bit confusing. It was high uh, high heavy duty, but uh, Ving Rhames and the hot ri- and uh, French cunt Estevez. Yeah, he dies. Remember that was a big surprise. And uh, what's his face? John Voight's car was all over the road there. He's the bad guy. Spoiler alert. So you got a big thing you can't say, but yeah, you can can't allude. Say. It's in August. Get your tickets if you want to come. We want to get some gays out there. We really want to bring this puppy home. Cause I want to come. Please. Yeah. Put it on my face. So they go, well, we need a tape. You know, they got to they gotta see what you're uh, doing. And I, I, I email them back. I mean, like, oh, what is this? Some kind of censoring thing? Are you going to tell me what I can and can't say? They're like, no, no. We just have to make sure you're not doing a lot of brand name legals. Ah. Uh. What do you call it? Practices? Uh, standards and practices. Thank S and P. Thank you. S and P. So uh, Stone Temple Pilots. So I go, all right, you got it. So I, I call a friend because I, I don't know how to film anything. So I call a friend. He's like, well, I'll come out and shoot you, and we'll make some videos and make a day out of it. Okay. Great. And then the, the gay pride parade was the next day. So he's like, I'm going to come out, shoot you. Can I crash on your couch? And I'll go beat oh. Salacuse and shoot some pride dildos and whatnot hey the couch crash well you know you get home at 132 you go to bed at three and i woke up he was gone it was it was pretty all perfect right, he's, right. he's a good egg he's quick he's low maintenance all right so two shows saturday we sold some tickets it's a hard market it's in a mall it's in the middle of nowhere we sold some tickets fine it was full not that's why so they don't low. go what's that maybe that's why they don't go what you're saying people don't go up there Ah, because it's a tough market. I know, but you think the locals would come out? Yeah, you'd think that. Yeah, it's in a mall. Mall is tough. Mall is bad. There's nothing creative about a mall. I know. It's just Fridays and chilies, and uh, there's bowling and laser tag. It's tough. It's a yard house. Who's getting drunk in a mall? Nobody's ever been like, I want to really consume some good, thoughtful art. Yes. Let's go down to the mall. Yes, that makes sense because the people there were idiots. There was a lot of tards out in the audience. By the way, we talked about this before. Real quick, the movie Cocktail, which is a shitty movie that I love. Same. They talk about the, his big thing was we're going to have, you'll find a corner bar in every American mall. And it happened. Mm. It was ridiculous then. There was no bars at all in malls. No mall bar. Now they have like actual like a brewery Irish pub in a mall. Yes, yes, I've so, seen them. Cocktail ahead of its time. I guess, but bad ahead. Mm-hmm. I got that last night. But um, so first show, I go, all right, we'll try to get this tape for you know who and uh, send it in. Heckle fest. Oh. I mean, left, right, center, up, down, black is white, day is night. The whole thing stunk, and uh, so we're like, well, literally 14 minutes of that was going, hey, shut the fuck up. Uh, you kill him. Get, 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 get rid of this guy. This is out of hand. Like, all oh. that shit. So we couldn't, you, you lose all the material. So, and then, you know, I always do a meet and greet. I always shake hands. It was one of those ones where I ran off stage. I was like, I'm going to the green room and pouting. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get the thing. Ah. We didn't get the tape. Whatever, we got a second show. Hey, we actually sold more tickets for the second show. This will be the one. It's always fun at the end. Now the host is on, and he's doing well. And okay. I'm like, okay, okay, we're back. And then the feature, Sean Murphy goes, this is the best one yet. And I go, yes, it's all locking in. Do you find that to be a curse sometimes? A little bit of a curse. All right. So then he goes up, and he's he's a killer. He's a beast. So he, I, he's ripping it. And... I can tell he's a little on edge. Hmm. So I'm like, oh, what's going on? And at one point, I've been working with this guy for years. Sweetest guy, nicest guy. Slaps! Whoa! Slaps. He goes, Shut the fuck up! What is wrong with you? Oh. You guys have been talking the whole fucking time. Your phone is on. Your light is on. You guys won't shut up. You ca- you're calling shit out. You're, cal- you're heckling. You're yapping. You're cackling. And then he, he's going. He's doing this one. Hey, 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 I'm talking to you. They, weren't, they didn't even know he was talking to them. Oh, That's God. how out to lunch they were. And I've never, and me and the the host were in the back, like, oh, Sean Murphy. It was like dad at a sleepover, like, hey, I got work in the morning. You kid, shut the fuck up. Oh, it was that Jesus. kind of energy. It was a bananas. I'll show you. I've got it on tape. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe we should put on the Patreon, barring uh, his uh, his 
okaying. Ah, we throw him a few bucks. Ah, he could use the money. 10, 12 bucks at most. Perfect. So I'm like, whoa. It was one of those things where I didn't notice he was getting fucked with because I was so far away, but he was on stage dealing with it. Right, those weird ones. You just see him go from here to here. And I'm like, oh, my God. And he goes, when Mark gets up here, you better shut the fuck up. And I was like, okay, they're going to kick them out. Like he was, I've never seen him this angry. And it always hits you right in the heart when they when they go, like, when the headliner comes up, you can do this shit with me, but you don't do it. That's kind of nice. That's very sweet. It's sweet. So uh, that was nice. And it met the world. And uh, so I was like, all right. He yelled at them. This will probably be fine. But he goes, I'm going to do one more joke. Could you just keep it down for one joke? Gee, this sounds off. It was horrible. That's why no one comes up there. I know. So then he goes He goes into his next joke, and literally like three lines in, he's like, I knew you wouldn't li- I knew it. And he just starts flipping out again, and then he says, I'm done. I'm out of here. And he leaves. Jesus Christ. Now, is there security? Do they think about throwing him out? Are they, are they hard up for cash? What's going on? Well, I feel bad saying some of this because uh, we had a long talk with the manager after. All right. Right. And I had it out a little bit, but uh, I was like, all right, he yelled at him. Then the host went up and was like, hey, really, you guys, you're going to get thrown out unless you cool it, whatever. So people went up and talked to him. It was fine. And they were a bunch of guidoies, like a real meathead man with the tight shirt and the chest hair and the doubloons or whatever. Balloons? The medallions or, what? you know, he's got the gold necklaces. Oh. Yes. And then the, you know, the bimbo, gaudy uh, whores there. Uh-huh. So uh, the host goes up and talks to him. Now, this would have been the perfect time to throw him out because the host is up. He's killing time. It's, it's, it's. It's a middle point. It's a buffer. Sure. So then I go up, and they're pretty good. I've got them. I've got them. It was one of those shows where, like, this side was insane, like, too hot, and this side was dead. Isn't that weird? Because comedy's infectious. Yes. So I do my whole thing where, like, oh, I got a cocaine and Tylenol PM. I got a rock club and a book club. You know, I'm doing all that bullshit, (laughs) whatever. And you always think that'll get them to be like, oh, we should laugh more, but they didn't. Right. Then the other side. But this table of queefs is right smack in the middle and is like 12 of them so i'm just going get the tape get, and they're talking they yell there one lady's going facts facts oh i hate facts <laughs> hate facts. i hate facts there's two things i hate facts and actually oh you ever hear that that's the new thing do we talk about this i talked about it on a different hit pod me. hit me you say you give me like give me something that just happened to you recently all right the other day i slipped on some black ice i cracked my head open actually Yes. Instead of saying seriously or really, right. people say actually. Oh, that's no good. It doesn't make sense grammatically. It's it, these young whippersnappers are saying this shit. It does. It's almost like when you go, uh, "Can I get the the bagel?" They go, "What happened?" Nothing yes! happened. I asked oh! for a bagel. That, that's what happened. Yeah. What's the matter? Is another one. <laughs> well, I'm like, hey, what time's the movie? What's the matter? I'm like, why are you making it sound like I'm an asshole? Right. I'm just asking right. what time we're meeting up. That's not the matter. Up, you know, and then the snap. Change. This thing's the worst. Oh, I hate the snap. This thing. Snap, crackle, pop. That is like the worst. I told you there was a famous woman that's like, how long have you been doing comedy? And I was like, oh, 20 years. And she was like... <laughs> I, I, mean, I hope she gets in a bus wreck. Oh my god! Oh god! Hope she snaps her neck. I, I, yeah. I hate her. I still. I think about it. It still makes me want to just oh, punch myself a, in the tits. Appalling! I'm, I'm, I'm never get hard again after the snapping. Enough with the snapping. All right, snapping turtle. So uh, I, I'm doing okay, but they're they're just chatting. They're yapping. They're yelling facts. They're yelling preach, preach. Oh, which I've, I'm like I'm doing a joke about tits. You say preach? What are you talking about? Oh. Ah, oh, this table's the worst, but they're with me, but they're the worst. And then uh-huh. the, the lady's going, because the menu now is on the phone. Oh, You God. know what the code? Read the code? It's horrible because you, it's an impossibility to look at your phone without checking your other stuff. Once you have the phone, you're like, let me check uh, my asshole here. Yeah, and then- exactly. I'm guilty of it, too. We all do it. You go, what's the weather day? Oh, you know, 69ing, you know, or whatever it is. Even in that act out, my text popped up, and I was like, oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go, yeah. So the phone, and the, for some reason, the phone has got to be on, uh, you know, prison break spotlight level brightness. I don't understand these people who aren't uh, oh. mindful yes. of their light volume and first of all these people that are walking around in public with the ringer on oh we had some ringers what is that? too we my ringer's, ringers never been on ever unless i'm someone's picking me up that's the only dis- case 
where I'm like, they're like, I'm going to text you when I'm outside. Then my ringer's on full volume uh, to make sure I don't miss it because I'm considered about the person outside in traffic. Exactly. But other than that, these people in the mall, you just say like, boop, 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 yes. boop, 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 I'm like, you're walking in the mall I know. with your phone on? That's unreal. What are you doing? I don't what get it. <laughs> yeah. it's, when I hear somebody's phone go off in public, I'm like, you're a psychopath Psycho. that I don't want to be associated with. Yeah, and at least you see the guy at the funeral, it's like, do 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 and he's, at least he's like, no, oh, jeez, he's doing the shit. He's like, I'm sorry, I forgot. I All that, right, I get it. I think that was Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? I, I hope not that guy. Yeah. Uh, his ringer's on. But you better call a doctor. Either way, the love doctor. Either way, the, uh, the table's bananas. So at some point, I'm trying to get this tape. This is my last shot, and I got to get the tape, or else I would have just gone... Yeah, fuck it. Get, get them out. Like an old umpire would have kicked dirt on their heels and gone, get the fuck out. Get these people out of here. But and side note, I hate the tape. Fuck the tape. You don't I need the tape. Know. Just let me do my act. You know my act. I've been in comedy for 48 years. You hired me. I know. Just trust me. I'm going to show up. I'm going to do it. And then we can fix anything in post. I completely agree. But you know how these corporate cunts are. The CC. So, uh. Sabathia. Yeah. So, uh. CC in the Sunshine Factory. But either way. The Sunshine Factory. Isn't that a thing? Casey and the Sunshine Band. Oh. <laughs> Casey. The Sunshine Factory is good, though. I think I had it like, I, I combined nine bands there. Yeah. So, whatever. Oh, CC Music Factory. Thank you. There it is. <laughs> Casey and the Sunshine Band, CC and the Music Factory. Ah, you see that you're a good friend. Uh, that makes sense now. Nobody would have put that together. They would have, they would have shunned me and told me I'm an idiot immediately. But you put it together. I don't understand these pants and shorts where if you stand up, you look normal, and right. then you sit down, and it looks like I'm Lance Armstrong. Yeah, right? You toured a France like, over there with that bulge. So uh, either way, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I've am I'm I'm been doing 50 minutes all weekend or whatever. I am barreling through this act just to get through it, just to get all the shit on tape. And then at about 40 minutes, I can't take it anymore, and I go, oh, you, you guys are killing me. This is ridiculous. Shut the fuck up. And they're going... What the hell? And I call one lady a whore, and she goes, Woo, you got that right, or whatever. I'm like, God damn. So then, eventually, I finish, and I, I look at my phone. I did 42. Ooh. So I, I shortened it eight whole minutes, plus I yelled at them, and that's how fast I was going. And I remember sitting there on stage, or standing there going, I'm going to chew out this manager. He should have thrown them out half an hour ago. Like, this is crazy. And uh, he came back there, and I was like, Ah, that was crazy, huh? It's so hard. You have it all always in your head yeah. the whole time that you're like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be like Earl Weaver. I'm gonna spin my hat around, kick dirt on him, and suck his tits. And then yep. he comes back, and you just go, Ah, oh, it was great. I hope to be back. I'll tell I my know. friends. Well, I went in the green, and I was the first guy in there, so I'm throwing water bottles. I'm doing that shit like an old, you know, coach. And he comes <laughs> back in. He goes, I'm sorry. He said sorry first. So I was like. All right, I was prepared to, like, battle with him, you know, like, what the hell was that? He's like, I should have thrown him out, but he had some good points. He's like, I knew about the tape. Then I thought if I threw them out, they, they weren't going to go quietly. I mean, these table, this yeah. table has never been told no in their life. Sometimes you do have to do that. You're doing for the better of the team. It's another metaphor for life. Somebody's doing something, but then you realize they're doing it for a completely different reason. Right. And, uh, you know, we just misread it, misunderstood. And it is hard to throw a table at 12. But it does make the situation worse, especially yeah. if you're getting laughs going, shut your asshole, yes. fuck your dad, and he's getting some laughs. You go, well, he's handling it. Because if you kick 12 people out, and then there's a hole in the whole thing, and everyone gets weird, and you show that side that you don't want to show. Completely, completely. So uh, we all had it out in the green room. We, all of us got together and talked about it, like the fe feature, the host, and uh, the, 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 the manager. And we, we all made up and had ice cream and blew each other and all that. But, uh, man, that was ugly. So I sent the tape in today, and they're going to have to watch me call a lady a whore. and call them, I called them a pack of tards at one point. I said, who raised you, your animals? Thank God they were white. Don't you worry about losing the gig? Like, they're going to watch this tape and be oh. like, we renege, we're going to get somebody else. That I didn't doesn't think do about that. that. And let me ask you this also. This is a little inside asshole, but please. Do you do, it's a 30-minute situation. Yeah. Do you do the 30 up front, or do you do 15 to get it warmed up and then do the 30? Uh, or do you do question. it in the middle? I did the 30. Uh, I kind of broke it up, but I did like 20 of it up front and then mix and match. I see. So Just curious. That, that way, they, if they go, we, you can't do this Hulu joke or this Walmart joke, whatever the legal thing is. I can just whip, switch and swap. Right. That's why it's so nice to do the way we did our last special. Just, I know. You shoot it and you go, here is what it is. Exactly. Take it or leave it. And they go, we'll leave it. Exactly. 
yeah, I hate the the fuddling with, and it takes away art and blah blah blah. But uh, yeah, so oh, what do we got? got fuddling is not a good quality. Well, we got a couple of things we got to talk about here. One of them is Raycon. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Raycon. Folks, I'm doing a lot of traveling this summer. In fact, I'm off the next couple of weeks. I'm going up to Booth Bay Harbor, as always, and then I'm going to Nantucket. Woo! You're going to Martha's Vineyard. We're going to be a couple of Islanders. Yeah, like the hockey team. Yeah, they lost. Uh, we're all getting out there this summer, so take your Raycons with you. And uh, you know, The traveling, the bus, the flight, however you're traveling, you're going to want to talk on the phone, listen to some music. I'll tell you, I've been listening to this band, Sam Coffee and the Iron Lungs. you got to shove this band right up your, uh, your butt. They are kicking. And, ass, and I listen to them exclusively with my Raycon AirPods. I mean, this is good stuff. Airbuds? What are they called again? I forget. Oh, good. Raycon wireless earbuds. earbuds. That's what it is. Earbuds. I forget the terms, but I do use them and I do love them. Raycon wireless earbuds give you crisp, powerful beats at half the price of the other premium audio brands. Mm. I love these because they just sound kick kick butt, kick ass. They make the music sound so crisp. It's high definition. I don't know how to explain any of it, but I know it's great. They look great, too. They come in a range of colors. They're comfortable, customizable gel tips included for a snug fit. Mm. And they're easy to pack. Raycons come with a compact charging case. It's good stuff. You love them. Do the little thing. Raycon! Very good. Love the Raycon. I I keep them by the bed. I use them when I jog. Big fan. I do some pull-ups in them, bring them to the gym. Hit them on the airplane, too. Listen up. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for our listeners. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. That's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. One more time, B-U-Y, raycon.com slash Tuesdays, and get them today. That's right, folks. And when you're out there listening to music, traveling, doing your summer traveling, it's a lot hotter. You don't want to stink. That's for sure. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Native Deodorant, featuring their new face and body sunscreen. Oh, I'm going to talk about going to the dermatologist in just a couple minutes. Something that stinks. A lot of stuff stinks. People stink out there. I mean, I'm on the subway in New York, Manhattan subway. Yikes, it can really smell. I wish everybody in New York was wearing Native deodorant. You know Native for their legendary aluminum-free deodorant. They take the same philosophy. They made body wash, toothpaste, mineral-based sunscreen, a broad-spectrum SPF 30 for your face and body. Lightweight, absorbs quickly, and you can choose between unscented or coconut and pineapple. Ooh. Are there two more delicious things than coconut and pineapple? Mm. Great smells. Mm. Native's on a mission to overhaul your entire hygiene routine. I know you love Native. Tell them a little bit about Native. Big fan of the Native. I keep it around the house. The lady uses it. I use it. It smells great. It feels great. And you feel good using it because you know it ain't hurting anybody. Stay fresh. Stay clean with Native by going to nativedeo.com slash stories or use promo code stories at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's deo.com slash stories or use promo code stories at checkout for 20% off your first order. You can't beat it. Smell good today. It's hot out there. Woo! All right. I've been hogging it. I had to get out that crazy coos who... uh, Heckled me and the table of uh, guidos and guineas and wops, but I think we got it out. No hog. Enjoyed the hog. I, uh, everyone loves a hog. Oh, I'm high on the hog. High on the hog. Uh, a motorcycle hog. Hog yes. heaven. Hog heifers. All hog. Hogs and what was that one that, where they danced the biker bar? Oh, uh, it was the hog pit. Remember hog that show? Pit, hog pit. That was yeah. weird. I had my own show here in New York for a while. You'd come by. Wow. A lot of people came by. It was really a hang. It was more of a hang. The show stunk, but it was open bar. I mean, that was oh out of God. control. Yeah, I forgot about that. Whew, a lot of blood, a long nights there and long mornings. It was wild. But anyway, so uh, we just talked about SPF. Did I talk about the dermatologist? No, I? I didn't know you were going to the derm. I went to a derm. Packy derm. Never been to a derm. I got health insurance. I, ah. I bought health insurance. I'm just paying for health. You got any health insurance? Nah, who needs it? I never needed it, never wanted it. But, you know, we're doing very well. Thanks to the Patreon. Keep joining the Patreon, for God's sakes. We've gotten tons of stuff. There's a new hot gay sets coming out soon this week and later this week we're going to record a bonus after this tons and tons of bonus shit 
It was already kick-ass, by the way. We got live shows. We're yes. going to set up another live show. We're coming to Royersford soon, I think. Oh, yeah. And I got to figure out that date. Remind me. Joel, if you're watching, message me because August. August is a little busy. Got some big stuff coming up. Boy, we got some huge stuff coming I up, know. the two of us. We're rocking and rolling, Fatty. This is exciting. It's a great time. There's going to be a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, but we got all the live episodes. There's going to be new live episodes coming up. Patreon is where it is at. You're not getting the full Tuesday experience if you're not on the Patreon. You got that right. I mean, Chuck's uh, on the ones and twos. He's, he's magical. He's a wizard. He's putting stuff out there. We got curbs. We got Seinfelds. We got gay sets. We got live apps. Uh, we got road, just stuff on the road. It's it's all locking in. By the way, these comments there are so heartening. Woo! Thank you. And we got Chuck to edit them now. Edit that, like, and not to show the negative. He sends me the positive ones only. I know. So God I bless know. you. Yeah. Because I know there's some people that really hate me. But what can you do? It's on you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we do it our part. You do yours, and we'll all die eventually. Hold on. You might want to get health insurance Jesus. just for these noises. I mean, I can feel it spraying. It's a very spray fart. I got you. have a webbing back there. I wear like a fishnet. It catches all the, uh, the, the debris. Let me see what this one sounds like. That's clean. <laughs> See that? Clean. That's a clean, nice yeah. whoop. Yeah, I'm a squirter, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yours is coming through a screen door. This is like oh yeah, clean as my gun. Mm-mm-mm. Wow, man, it's a bit of a storm <laughs> cloud in here now. Jeez Louise. <laughs> well, you know what Applebee's. it is? I had a ginger shot. I went to the, the cheap Asian place over here and got a nice ginger. Is that me or you, though? I'm not sure. Well, we both had Chipotle, so there's a Mexican vibe in the air. And, <laughs> Chipotle. Uh, and we should have built a wall. Concierge, or what's that called? Uh, Senore? Ch- huh? What's the thing? Senorita? When a, I think a Mexican girl turns 11 or something. Oh, oh, yeah. Senorita. Consuela. What is that? Quinceanera. Yes, that's what it was. Catorce. Yes, um, that's 14. Uh, well, whatever. So, anyways, I decided I got I bought health insurance. Oscar Health. I keep seeing the ad for the thing. Yeah. On the thing on the subway, it says Oscar. Aha. Uh-huh. You know about Oscar? I've seen the ad. Yeah. So I saw the ad. So I went in there and I said, "Give me the silver medallion package. What Ooh, do I know?" Look at you, just going for it. Well, there's like gold, which is like I don't know. The doctor blows you for free or something. Then there's like mm. there's like brown, which is just like if you take a shit. You can send it to them or something. Oh, wow. I don't know. I started I like laughing. Try that. Thing, but <laughs> can you just shit right on the door? <laughs> I want to just leave it on the porch. I don't, I don't want to put it in a test tube. Uh, well, I don't know. What time I, I talked to a guy. Did we talk about this? <laughs> well, quit bragging. You talked to a guy. <laughs> I know a guy. He's huge. He's a huge guy. And he Ralphie told me when he, when he takes shits, he has to use a plastic butter knife to cut up his dump so they won't go down. So they will go down. They won't go down unless oh. he cuts them up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, that's a shitty knife. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. And by the way, Chris Allen sends me his dumps. Ah, and uh, it's a weird shade. It's like orange. I got, I got to talk to him. I was trying to word it right. I gotta, maybe uh, you can help me draft an email. Are black dumps different than white dumps? If not... He's got something wrong with them. Maybe oh. they are, and I've never looked it up. Are they cooler and they dance? It's got the pants are low. Right. I, I, it's a, it was like an orange dump, so I don't know what's going on with you, Chris. Orange dump. Oh boy, it's tough because you're like commenting on the color here. Yeah, it's yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. I should be. You know, whatever. Anyways, Chris will talk, but uh, please stop doing that. <laughs> it looked like an orange banana. Ugh. And it had seeds in it. What? I Wasn't think he's good. a vegan or something. Maybe. So maybe that factors in. Brian Vegan. Is Sticker Treat coming back? I got to hit the world with Brian Vegan. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we're all ready for it. All right. uh, I'll, I'll let you know. All right. Well, anyways, I got health insurance, but now I'm just paying fucking 1200 bucks or 1500 bucks a month yep. for health insurance, but I'm healthy, and so is my wife, so we're just sitting on it. Now I'm just wasting money, so I said... I got a couple of uh, moles back here. I was worried about... Why, did you see them? No, I'm, I'm like, hey, this is good. You get your money's worth. Yeah, so I went down to the dermatologist, made an appointment. I made an appointment with a lady because it feels fun to be a little nude, Ooh, you know? Ooh, yeah. You're flexing the whole time in the appointment. Yeah, why not be nude near a lady? So sure. she was nice. I go up there, but I'm ner- I get anxious going to the doctor because I feel like Costanza. They're going to find something. They're going to find something. And so I'm all nervous. I go in there, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like shaking. I'm filling out the forums, and it looks like, you know... Michael J. Fox. I was going to say that, but then I wanted to mix it up, but I couldn't Muhammad think of Ali. It. Yeah, I thought of him, too. Ah, jeez. Who else is shaky? Who else is shaky? Shaky, shaky Gray. Mm. Shaker Heights. Macy Gray. Ah, she might be a little twerky. Yeah, who shakes? Uh, Alabama shakes. 
Oh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, Shake Shack. They're really good. Great, great shakes. Well, I guess old people... uh, doesn't matter. Anyways, right. I'm shaking. The paper's all nerve-wracking. I sit there, and they're always 20 minutes late for some reason. They call me in, and then the nurse that hands you the, the little like the, smock. The smock thing, and it's paper. Live long and, and prosper. She wasn't uh, too friendly. She's like, just put this on. This goes in the back. Get naked. Down to your underwear. Put that oh, on. Oh, wow. And so I'm nervous, but there's part of me that's like a little sexual, a little turned on. I don't know if it's because I've been married for 78 years, but this woman saying, take your clothes off, take everything off, put them in a pile, and put this on. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like, hmm, all right. I mean, she's an inch away from calling you a, a twink and smacking <laughs> your sack. I mean, that's what I want. We talked about it last night. I mean, last episode. Yeah, yeah. So I put it on, and then I'm just nervous. It's chilly in there. You're sitting there, and you can always hear the doctor moving about outside. Yes, yes. And I hear her be like, did you ask him that the thing? And I'm like, he's right, she's right outside the door, and I'm starting to get all this anxiety. I'm wearing a paper smock, and all I can think is like, you know, I got Irish heritage. I'm in the sun. I don't wear sunblock. I, I got these moles. I can see them, and they're like, is it itchy? I'm, I'm Googling. Yes. If it itchy, it's bad. If it's bloody, there's all these uh, anagrams or anomalies. Huh? What's the thing? NASA. NASA. X-ray. Radiation. No. What's what's NASA? And Space AIDS. travel. N-A-S-A. National Air and Space Anonymous. Oh, oh. What do you call that? An acronym. 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 Yes. Acronym Ohio. Yes. Acrobat. So I, I, I'm like, there's this one that's like, if it's not round, if it's black, if it's whatever, oh. round and black, like Chris Allen. So uh, I'm, if it's itchy, it's bad. And I'm like, is it? it? I'm, I'm freaking out. The lady comes in and it's, she's so gentle. She's like, hold your arm out. And she's like holding the end of my middle finger, just looking. There's something, uh-huh. it's like ASMR. There's something so sensual about a woman holding your hand and like your arm looking yeah. up. You can feel her eyes on you. It's quite. Tingly. I'm getting all tingly. Interesting. Interesting. When you, it's like when someone just pays attention to you, it's so delightful. Right. You know what I find is when, uh, and I'm, I don't like wearing makeup, but you do a, oh a shoot and you, you get the makeup lady and she's like, yes, that's what I mean. You're like, oh, it's just so relaxing. You get why women do it. It's pampering. It's relaxing. It's soothing. That's scary. ASMR. That's what ASMR what is. is. It's ASMR? like ASMR? I forget what it, Asthma? what it stands for. It's an acronym. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, anal sucking mother's retard yeah. something I don't know <laughs> wow that's a hell of a punk man <laughs> but um, I'm not sure what it is but it's that like peculiar uh, sensitive attention uh-huh. from another person is so nice like if someone's just touching you slowly looking at your feet but she's looking at my hoof the bottom of my feet uh. the whole thing but then she comes around she's like that's normal that's nothing but then I can feel her heading to the back and I'm like this is the danger zone this is gonna be bad and she's like oh what do we got here and I hear like a like a light switch oh, on. Oh, God. And I'm like, just trembling. I'm like, I can feel her back there, and I can't see her face, so I'm trying to glance. I got, I got a spoon because I'm trying to look at her back there. Oh, God. And I can just hear her talk to the nurse, oh. and she's like, make note of this. We got a, a Quamus, oh. Scoopu, a three-millimeter Quamus. Hey, and I'm like, Quamus. just hit me with it. I came all this way. Am I dying? What is it? Am I, do I have AIDS, cancer? She's like, oh. And then she like, circles it. And then she's like, we'll get a photo of this. It's a Quant- Qantas, Qantas Airlines. Oh, then she checks this other God. one. She's like, oh, boy. Yep. Okay. Here we are. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, how bad is it? Hit me with it. And Hit she me. said, this one. She's like, this one's fine. That's nothing. Which okay. I love a nothing. I love she's like, that's nothing. A nothing. This is good. That's good. Don't worry about that. Yes. She's like, this is a nothing. She's like, this one. That's an irregular mole. Oh, God, irregular. And she goes, but I'm not too worried about it. If we wanted, we could take it out. We could scoop it out right now. And a scoop. Scoop. Scoop doesn't sound good to me. But you got to get it over with. Scoop it and run. Well, she said, if you get it scooped, you can't go in the water for two weeks. So she goes, I think you should come back in four months. We'll check to see if it's changed. Might be dead by then. Well, that's what I'm worried about. But she said, four months, you don't want to do it now. Plus, I'm not prepared. I need to prepare. Uh, You got to prepare. I'm not a last second scoop guy. Yeah, yeah. Can I say I've had a lance? I've had a mole lance. Armstrong? Yeah. Yeah, I got one ball. What happened? What is I had it? a mole on my scalp. Big mole, like the size of a dime. Oh. And so my dad was kind of going, hey, Rusty, and doing one of these. And he was like, what the hell is this? And I was like, ah, I got a mole up there. And he's like, ah. And he's like looking at it. He's like, this is bad. This mole is black. Oh. Black hole sun. Black mole sun. So, uh, oh, that's what I was. I was a black mole, his son. Ah, right. oh, fun. Molson so, ice. <laughs> making a mountain out of this mole. But... 
he took me in, and they were like, oh, this has got to go. And I was probably like 15. They shaved a circle of my head. I looked like a, oh. like a douche for 10 weeks. And then they went, whoosh, sliced it. They froze it and then sliced right, it. Right, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, it sucked. It bled. That's a scoop. So, And then they sent it to a lab and tell you what happened? Yeah, they said uh, this. it wasn't malignant, but it could have been later. So you got got, good you got rid of it. That's what she said. She said, well, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll check it again. But she goes, if it does change, it will be melanoma. So I was like, Jesus Holy Christ. Moses, so I'm like, I, I got the, the seedlings of a melanoma here. So she's like, yeah, you got to come regularly. She's like, well, every six months, once a year, come ah. in. But she said, she's like, you got a 99. You're, you're great. You look good. We'll come back in October if you want. We can take it. You'll never have to worry about it again. We'll send it to a lab. They'll tell us it's irregular and melanoma-y. So I was in there for four minutes total. 50 buck copay, which I never knew what a copay was. Uh, they no said, copay. copay is 50 bucks. So 50 bucks. And uh, I left there feeling high. When you go and do a thing and you leave, you feel like, woo, yeah, I feel nice. So yeah. I got a, a little double mole weird thing. This one's fine. They got to keep an eye, but maybe I'll go back in October. They'll zip it off. All I'll right. And then I was up in the Upper East because that's where the doctors live. Went for a walk in the park. Felt like 100 bucks. Made some phone calls. And uh, I'm free as a bird. And she didn't check in my ball bag. And I got mm. a lot of weird stuff down there. Well, that's but, next. Yeah, I'll do that in October. So, so you're going to do it October. I'm going to go back there, have her take a look at it again, and maybe slice it off, I guess. But that's what they said. They freeze it, and they <laughs> sliver it off. So, I mean, I wonder if we get Chuck in there, film the whole procedure. They're eh, not going to let us film, but maybe I'll do before and after Ooh, or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll throw do you a something. party after. You come out, we go, woo. I'll dress as a mole. I like it. Well, <laughs> it was fun, though. But I feel good. So now, like, what other doctor should I see? Try to save some money. <laughs> but I'm afraid. Aren't you afraid to get... Test. I'm afraid to of get course, like the cholesterol, the blood pressure. I'm afraid they're gonna be like you got to cut out, you know, butter and anal. You know what I mean? But better to know, better to get it out early. What if you had never gone in and you had this mole for 68 years and one day you you croaked? But I'm more confident with that. My parents have high blood pressure and cholesterol. Mm. But here's what I'm thinking: I'm 39, just turned 39. 40s when you start worrying. So maybe I'll go when I'm 40. Okay, okay. The prostate kicks in. Yikes. Or is that 50? I don't know. I think they want you to do it at 40 now, too. Uh, but here's what I forget. You know what you, you, I forget? Because I'm always in my head of, like, I'm a piece of shit. I ate McDonald's twice yeah. last week. I, I don't yeah. do this. But I got to remember, I, I don't drink. I never smoked. Don't do drugs. Uh, I, I don't eat within three, four hours of bed. I exercise every day. I got a good social life. I meditate. My father's gay. <laughs> You're outdoors a lot. Than most people. I agree. And I had a personal trainer... You know what the best exercise of all time is? Take a, take a gander. Walking? Yes, Yay! walking. I said walking. Get out of here. It's, it's nothing. It goes low impact. Low impact. That's you're right. moving. You're, every party is kind of moving. Your brain is going. Your, your, your uh, what do you call it? Uh, scanning. Balance. Balance. Thank you. And uh, he's like, walking. All we do is walk. Oh, we walk the most all the time, at least 10,000, 15,000 steps. At least walk we're, this way. We're pretty fit. We're not eating a lot of fries and shit. No, nah, nah. I'll have some ice cream twice a week. Yeah, fries, ice cream. I eat <laughs> quite a bit of ice cream, but not crazy. I quit soda. Yeah, good for you. Day. Quitting soda, is a, that's, a, that's a game changer, Fatty. That was big, so I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, I, I'm feeling it. I'll, I'll pound a couple of uh, cocktails every uh, two days, but... Yeah, you know, you got to have a vice. But here and there, I mean, it's not like you're day drinking and all no, that. No, no. Well, yesterday I went to the beach and we really put them back. Well, that's a Sunday. That's I mean, Sunday. I haven't seen you drink in fucking nine years. Okay, but okay. Way, I got 25 people writing to me like, you got to get Mark into rehab. And I'm like, he's not a drug addict. It's <laughs> driving me crazy. I appreciate it, They're folks. like, go to rehab, get him to rehab. I'm like, he took a pill. He's not a d addict. He's a moron. Yes, I no flushed offense. him. No, it was a one-time thing. I tried it. I, I didn't know what it was. It's fentanyl. I'm addicted. But it's all over. You maybe need rehab for content. That might be something you need rehab for. Too much for. content. Maybe a week off from the tweeting uh, and that's stuff. Not Bad. That's your only problem. All right, all right. Substance is not your problem. This is talking to you and the audience. You hear that, Dad? All right. Here's what you need. You need to know you're enough. Ooh. I've said it before, and I've said it again, and I'm saying it to the people at home. You're worthy of love. You don't have to do anything, accomplish anything. All right. You're a great person. You're doing great. This is getting kooky. And I love you. All right. Well, I think we got to wrap this thing up, huh? Don't take illicit drugs, for God's sake. No, no also, drugs. He doesn't need rehab. Look no, at him. Look He's 0% body fat. He's Come at every on. show. He's working. He's succeeding.
Yeah, it was For an God accident. For God's sakes, I got 11 emails. I, He's a moron. He's I, not an addict. I wanted to go to sleep. I thought it was a Xanax. I don't know what was going on. He's very dumb, but yes. he's a good person. Everybody relax. Thank you. Take some Benadryl if you need it, or call me, for God's sakes. Oh, I don't want to bother anybody. Call me on the phone. All right. Call me whenever you want. You can. I think that's the lyrics. Either way. You're loved. You're worthy of love. My All father's right. gay. Tell my parents to, to tell me that. He touched your head. Yeah, that was weird. I, I'm, I'm jealous over here. Yeah, it was the one time, and he found a cancerous tumor. So That's amazing. That's again. kismet. That's God. Maybe. Uh, maybe. My dad is odd because he, he doesn't show a lot of love. He doesn't hug, but he's very, he puts all of his love into fixing stuff. He's like, your teeth are fucked. We're going to the orthodontist. And I'm like, Ooh. oh, and I, I took it as love. So I was like, I'm getting my, uh, my ass kicked in there with the rubber bands, and the guy's got his elbow <laughs> in my mouth. But I'm like, dad. Hey, look, we're doing it. Yeah, that's nice. There was one time where my dad, you have to look for signs, where my dad, yes. I remember this as a kid, I had a fever of like 110. Did I tell this story already? No, I can't please. I had me. a fever. I was having like delusions or illusions. Delusions. Delusions of I mean, grandeur. It was wacky. I didn't know where I was. And I remember saying I was on a spaceship, like crazy shit. Like I was yeah. in like a blackout. What? But I was like nine. And my Trippin'. dad was driving me, because you got a fever. It's like being on drugs. Oh, I had a fever. What's that? Hands like two red balloons. Oh, Pink Floyd. Thank you. Um, I don't think red. <laughs> That's 99 Luff Balloons. Oh, you're right. Casey the Factory. You're really mixing and matching. Mm. But anyway, so we were driving and some guy cut off my dad or whatever. My dad wow. got out and he goes, I got a sick kid in here. Are you serious? Get out of my way. I got a sick kid. And I remember even in this all wow. fucked up, I remember being like, well, he loves me. It was wow. like a problem child when he finds the drawer. Yes, yes. But anyway, That's so, big. Uh, That's so big. that was a moment. That was big one moment, moment when I was seven. So I think we're loved. They don't know how to show love. Your parents love you. I love you. We don't know how to show love. Same with your parents. Same with me. The All right. loves us. Yes, moving on. One time, uh, my dad was a psycho about pay. He has zero patience. So one time we were at a, at a Popeye's, black neighborhood, we're the only white people in there. He's in a suit. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm wearing my skateboard bullshit. I was probably 15. And they took forever. And he was like, they're doing this on purpose. And he's like <laughs> pounding the table. I'm like, dad, cool. That guy's got a gun. He's wearing a do-rag. He's, uh, he's dressed as a convict. I was like, take it easy, dad. And he goes, my son is hungry. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not hungry. Don't look over here. And they're like, look at this fucking white man. You know, whatever the hell. It was, uh, oh, it was tense. And they threw some, some fucking wings at him. We got out of there. Wow. They don't know how to show love these people. No. You got to look for the love language. Yes, you got to find it. It's a, it's a definitely a different language, but uh, very difficult. Oh, jeez. All right, I got more, but I'll save it. I got a couple more things, too, okay, but we, well, we throw something out. Get a quick, well, let something. me just, I'll, I'll go quick. We went to the beach yesterday. We had, since no flight, I'm back on Saturday night, so we said Sunday, it's the Gay Pride Parade. It's a fucking shit show out there. Look, go gay, go nuts, dildos, butt fucking leather strap. I don't give a shit. I love it. I've been to the Gay Pride Parade 10 years in a row, but this year, I live in the belly of the beast. Yes. So I was like, we're getting out. We're going to hightail it out of this uh, town for one damn day. And we hit the LIRR, went straight to Long Beach, bought a box of White Claws, had lunch at Anchor Tavern, Ooh. and uh, we got out there. The whole thing is like an hour and a half to get out there, and then boom, you're on the beat. You're just at the edge of the edge of the earth. Just boom, sitting there, two lawn chairs, stack of white claws, and there was this, you know, there's a bunch of people everywhere on the beach, and there's a, like, a family of, uh, like, fat, fun black ladies. Ooh. And they're just, like, you know, they're all dressed up. They got, like, the weird chain around the stomach thing. Oh, yeah, and, that's like, a new thing. Yeah, yeah, big Beyonce hair. And the whole, the whole, the whole show, I was going to say, the whole time, they're just, like, filming themselves twerking and like showing how fun they were and they have kids like building a sandcastle next to them and they're like doing this shit the hair's blowing in the wind they were fun we couldn't stop staring they were they were just a spectacle and at one point the lady catches me and she goes shot o'clock and i said huh and she goes shot o'clock and it's amazing how white you feel what? when someone says shot o'clock i've been watching them all night uh, popping and locking and she goes shot o'clock and i go I don't know what that is. She pulls out a Hennessy. Oh. And she goes, shot o'clock. And I go, oh, is it shot o'clock already? And I, I waddle my my honky ass over there. And she pours Hennessy in my mouth and then shakes my head up. And I go, woo. And I go back. Oh, that's fun. Boy, yeah. Hennessy is that really quite a beverage. I, it makes yeah. me sad. I never had any Hennessy because maybe I would have been. It's uh, not good. You know, it doesn't sound good. It's not good. But it uh, good. 
I, I think I did a real olive. That was an olive branch to the white man and the black lady. And I think they're going to go home and be like, they're not all that bad. Well, I got to say, I, I'm ignorant. I'm naive. I'm an idiot. But there's a lot of talk about racial this and racial that. I know, that. I but know. In real life, when I'm out and about... Everybody's getting along swimmingly. Of course. It's beautiful and everywhere I go. But again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm an idiot. I'm naive. I'm stupid. I'm white. I'm a man. I'm a piece of shit. But Cisgender. I, I live in New York. I travel all over the country, all over the world. And uh, I see all these genders, races, yeah. people getting along swimmingly. Yep. It's just when one person doesn't, they slap it on everybody. Exactly. Newspaper. Exactly. Like, Everyone's great. I'm watching uh, Francis Tiafo, an American tennis player, black guy who I love. He's... One of my guys, and he's at London, the most exclusive place. They're, they're rooting for it. They're of going course, crazy. Of and course. So uh, I'm not saying there's no racial problems, but I'm saying there's a lot of not problems yeah, also. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, it, it's, it's that algorithm, man. It just pushes out you, the scandalous stuff and the fighting and the hatred gets more views and more clicks and it's more controversy and we all get excited and the blood starts pumping, but it ain't that real. And I think it's bad for society. They, I read a... a an article yesterday that, that cities are more segregated now than they've been in a while. And I think it's because we're pumping in so much. How about this KKK rally and this white supremacy over here and then BLM and da da da. And it's like, I think a lot of, a lot of people just go, I'm just going to hang out over here. Like I, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to make an attempt. I'm clueless. I'm racist. I'll just stay back. Right. And I don't think that's progress. Yeah. It's so, regress. Regress. Recess. Silent regress. But, uh, yeah, so that was it. Then we came back. The parade. We get out of the subway, and you're just like, poof, hit with a big splash Oof. of jizz, and a guy is, uh, ball sack is right here. And you're like, oh, my God. Right when you get on 6th Avenue, we ran home, and uh, we, we put our shit down, went to the grocery store, and made dinner at home, and had a, had a, had a great night. Man, you got a nice view of it from uh, yes. over here on... Fourth, Fourth Avenue. Avenue. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Uh, so, yeah, what do you got? I just want to say quick shout-outs. Kansas City. I just did the Comedy Club of Kansas City. It'll be two weeks ago now. We had to do a week ahead because I'm in Maine for a week. But anyways, Comedy Club of Kansas City, they want you bad. Hey, you're an oh, improv really? guy, but uh, my God, I mean, these, these, this is a good club. It's All right. new. I think it's been around for a year or I'm two down. years. I'm down. Beautiful room. Great setup. Big, spacious stage. People are all around you. Nice green room. They have Nintendo on an Ooh. HD TV. It's so fun playing Super Mario on an HD flat screen. Hell yeah. You can really see it, really feel it. Owner's a good guy. Dude. Great MC. Uh, oh, fuck. Dayton. 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 Bissett or Bissett or Best City. He's a Tuesday. He weighs 112 pounds. He picked me up. He's like one of these 20-year-old kids. He reminds me of me. He's into Neil Young. Oh, wow. He's got like uh, John Prine on the radio when I pull in. What? We listened to Van Morris. I had a great time. Went to the movies. Saw a great documentary called The Spark. Brothers, the feature act Aaron Scarborough went and got popcorn. He came up, he tripped up the steps and like fell into the seat. I thought he was being funny, but he wasn't. He just fell like a maniac. Oh, wow. Classic. That was fun. Good laugh. We went to the movies. Great time. So many Tuesdays. It was insane. Saturday night sold out. Couldn't fit another person in there. Tons wow. of Tuesdays. Few Roganites or whatever. Sure. And uh, people were so nice. Got a couple gift cards. I mean, I was swimming in thank yous and I love yous and. People brought some Pearl Jam knowledge, and people were, you know, had movie stuff, so it was really exciting. And uh, then I had a, a 7 a.m. flight, got a ride to the airport. Spectacular Ooh. sunset, like, because it was all cloudy and cinematic, bright, hot, pink, Woo! purples and pinks. And you just say, thank Christ, I'm a comedian. Thanks to all the gays for all the support through the years. It keeps growing. It keeps spreading the word. It's the best thing you can do for us. Hell yeah. And I'll tell you, I got I got an act again. It's oh. all shit. It's all dick. But that's all right. That's what I think <laughs> that's is your funny. thing. And I, I mean, I'm killing. I'm up there going, I should record this. This should be a special. And it's really exciting. So thanks to all the gays. And uh, my father loves me, I think, maybe. Yes, I think he does. I think he's an odd duck. And maybe his dad didn't show it, so he can't show it. But that's where you come in, where you learn how to show. I try. I'm trying to learn. Yes, well shows speaking of that i got toledo funny bone coming up i've never been there i don't think i'll ever go back but come on out houston improv let's sell that bitch out philly helium buffalo helium gonna bring sean murph on that puppy hey, murph. then dayton ohio appleton wisconsin arlington texas at the improv funny bone albany west palm beach and comedy connection in providence and comedy on state in madison and zanies in nashville Rochester, 
Get the Patreon. He's got Mindful Metal. I got We Might Be Drunk. Chuck's kicking ass. Shelbo's around. Say hello. Get on it. Tell a friend. Come see us live. Check out our specials on YouTube. And uh, that ought to do it. Praise Allah. We'll see you in hell. Queef. Oh, I have a fart, but it's not ready. Oh, come on. George is saying cut it. it Maybe I got it. Hold on. Give it to him. No, that's going to be a right. shit. Wait. Well, uh, no, I think I heard nothing. a snap, but it might uh, have been a catch. All right. All right, forget it. Been.